All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to learn how Python actually helps me sleep. So a lot of times I'll be sleeping. I'm, I wish I was like a cute little baby who could just sleep all the time, but I have problems sleeping. So the thing is, I turn up my music, some kind of piano music, some kind of Netflix music, depending upon my mood. And I just sleep hearing that music. But what happens is after like half an hour and one hour, like I fall asleep, but then I wake up again because the music is still playing and that's a problem. So what I do is I have created a Python program that basically decreases the music sound after every five minutes. And that way it can smoothly just decrease the sound and I don't have to worry about waking up again and removing the or muting the volume or removing the song. I don't have to worry about all of that. I can just put on a calm playlist on YouTube and just let it run and my Python program will automatically decrease the volume of the song. So what I've done over here, so I'm using PyCharm. You can use any other text editor or IDE you want. Um, I'm using PyCharm and I've already created a main.python file and the library that we'll be using to decrease the volume after every uh, five minutes or 10 seconds, whatever you want is the PyCall library. So first of all, we are going to install that library by going to our uh, project sleep over here. You can call your project whatever you want and then project interpreter. And we are going to install the PyCall library by searching over here PYCAW and then just click on it and click on install package and this will install it on your computer. I've already installed it as you can see over here and then just click on OK and with will be added to your project and so now we are just going to add PyCore to our project so we are just going to write PyCore and I'm just going to call it core because uh, PyCore is just too long and too weird and from PyCore we are going to be importing two utilities that we want the first is the audio utilities and the second is the iSimple audio volume and we'll also be adding time to our project because we want the volume to be decreased after a particular amount of time so that's why time library is also pretty important and then we're just going to create a variable of volume so in pyco uh, the maximum volume is one and the lowest volume or the mute volume is zero so the volume can be 0 0.56 0 0.55 0 0.65 anything between zero to one is a volume so over here we're just going to set the default volume underscore value and we're just going to set the default value as uh, one and then we are going to get something known as a session so what is a session so any application that is playing music on your computer like google chrome or vlc.exe vlc media player or windows media player any kind of player that's playing music is known as a session so what we first need to do is identify which applications are playing music so we are just going to create a variable over here known as sessions and then we are just going to use our audio utilities dot and then we're just going to get all the sessions by using this get all sessions over here and this will give us a list of all the processes that are currently playing music so now we are just going to create a while true loops because we need to loop through all the sessions and inside this while true loop we are going to create a for loop and we're just going to create a variable of session and we are going to loop through all the sessions so we're just going to write for session in sessions and this is just the individual sessions for example if you are playing music on chrome and vlc uh, all that chrome and vlc will be stored in this variable one by one and this is a list that contains all the applications that are playing music first we are going to check which application is playing music so for example we are playing a playlist on youtube and youtube is being played on chrome so first we need to identify which application we want the music to be decreased in so that's why we are just going to put an uh, if condition and we are just going to write if session dot process that is that application is running make sure it's running and we are also going to check the name of the process so we are also going to write session dot process dot and the name and we are just going to check whether the process name is equal to chrome dot exe or not if you are playing um, some other application like vlc it's going to be vlc dot exe so make sure you name the executable file over here and uh, the chrome spelling is not correct so let me rectify that and then inside this we have identified that the chrome is playing our music and we want to decrease the volume of chrome uh, so how do we decrease the volumes we are going to use the i simple audio volume so first we need to get the volume object uh, from our PyCore so that we can get the current volume of the music playing and then we can also decrease the volume So first let's get the volume object So we're just gonna create this volume variable and inside this I'm just gonna write session and then this is a little bit weird This is what PyCore wants us to do. There's no like 
very specific reasoning behind it. It's just like how PyCorp was written. So we are just gonna write session dot and then underscore CTL, then dot again, and then something known as the query, the query interface. So we are just gonna write query and I capital interface. And then inside this, we are gonna use our I simple audio volume that we imported before. So let me just copy and paste this over here. And it looks uh, pretty good. And then to get the volume, the current volume of Chrome.exe, what we can do is you don't need to do this, but just to tell you guys, how do you get the current volume? Because you also need to print the current volume on our uh, Python console. So we are just gonna get the current volume also. And to get that, we are just gonna use our volume object that we have over here. And then we are just gonna write get master volume and the G will be in capital and M will be in capital and V will be in capital two. And we are just gonna write this and this will get the current master volume. And to set the volume, we are just gonna do the same thing. We are just gonna write volume dot set and it's gonna be the pretty much the same command. So let me just copy and paste this over here, remove the G instead of, um, and then it also requires two parameters over here. The first is, so, and what volume do you want to decrease? How much do you want to decrease it? What, what value do you want to set? So currently we have the value of one. So let's just start with that. And the second parameter, we are just gonna leave it as empty. So let's recap what we have done till now. We have imported two utilities over here. We have set the default value and then we got the all the sessions or all the apps that are currently playing music. Then we created a while loop to make sure we can decrease the music continuously. And then we created a for loop to check all the apps that are currently playing music and loop through them one by one. And then over here, we checked whether the app currently, the chrome.exe, all the apps are currently in the process or not. The process is basically whether they are running or not. And then we check the name of the apps that are currently inside and are playing music. And we checked for the chrome.exe or chrome explorer. And then we check the volume. We got the volume of chrome.exe and we can get the master volume by using this volume.get master volume. And then we set the master volume currently at vol volume underscore value that is equals to one. Now we are just going to wait for two seconds and then we are going to decrease the volume. So what we do over here, so we are going to use our time dot sleep command and this has the parameter of seconds. So because we don't want to wait for five minutes, usually what when I am um, using this application, I make sure that the volume decreases after every five or 10 minutes. But currently to check uh, this is going to take a lot of time. So let's just change it to two seconds and then we are going to just decrease the volume. So what we, how do we decrease the volume? It's pretty simple. We are just going to use this volume value and we are going to paste it over here and we are just going to decrease this value by let's say 0 0.1. Obviously you can decrease it by however you want, but I think it's the optimum value because the volume currently in PyCore is between one to zero and one is the max volume and zero is the minimum value or minimum volume. That's why we are just decreasing this by 0 0.1. And then what we are gonna do is whenever the music or uh, whenever the music or the volume gets to zero, then we need to break out of this while loop. So we are also gonna check that. So we are just gonna put in a if condition, if volume value is less than zero, and then we are just gonna break out of this loop. So now let's actually try whether it works or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play some copyright free music of NFX. It's an amazing playlist. Um, so I'm just going to play it and what we are going to do is that we are going to run after playing this main.py file and it should automatically decrease the volume after every two seconds and whenever it's less than zero it will do this break thing and it will exit the program. So now let's try it out. do it on my own so i gotta get through it and the only thing i know is to love what i'm doing never give up never slow till i finally prove it never listen to the nose i just want to keep moving keep my head up when i act all right so you must have heard the music and you can see that the music is not playing from nefx but one more thing that uh, it's actually working but one more thing is that because you have set the volume as zero currently so you're not able to hear the volume and also even if you increase the volume over here or increase the system volume it's not gonna work so you need to create a reset kind of a thing so for example i've created a reset.py file over here 
and what we are gonna do is I'm just gonna let this music play in the background and we are just gonna reset the volume to one again so I'm just gonna copy all of this code it's pretty easy just paste it over here and we are just gonna set the volume to one again just like uh, we have done before and I'm just gonna break this loop so that uh, we don't have to do it uh, afterwards so just set the volume to one once and that's pretty much it so now after i run this reset.py you'll be able to hear the music and i'll just pause the youtube video after that all right guys so the music must be on again and uh, so it's working over here so this is pretty good and uh, we need to actually break out of uh, this for loop also and we also need to break out of this while loop but it's working so it's fine I guess um, but let's break out of both the loops so guys this is pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed this a uh, little bit of a different video and uh, if you like this video make sure you leave a like because if when you leave a like a lot other people can actually watch it uh, YouTube promotes it and make sure you press this uh, subscribe button I, I never like tell people to subscribe in my uh, videos I, I just think it's weird but I feel I should do it more anyways uh, thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video peace